And welcome back. It's 716 here on your Saturday morning, one day before Christmas Eve, two days before Christmas, and we've got a great start for you if you got to get some last minute things done this morning. Weather feeling good. It's not too chilly. A lot of us are in the low 60s out there and look where we're headed today, about 71. The good news is we're not expecting much in the way of rain today. I do have about a 10 to 20% chance of a shower, but not expecting much through the daytime. But this evening and really into tonight, we're talking late tonight, our rain starts to move in and that's going to settle in through Christmas Eve. Now, when you look at radar, there's a few areas of light showers and really more so just drizzle moving up through Baton Rouge. The river parish is back through the Atchafalaya there, so not anything heavy, but that's your 10 to 20% chance of showers. Now, the thing we're watching our storm system, it was in California yesterday. It's in New Mexico this morning. It'll be near us come tomorrow, and that's where it is right now. The rain over New Mexico eventually is going to be the rain over the Gulf eventually into southeast Louisiana. Now, if you are heading out to the bonfires tonight, remember they moved them up a day to avoid the rain. They kick off at 7 p.m. this evening. It'll be in the 60s. It'll be cloudy, but it looks mostly dry. It's not until after midnight that a lot of those showers start to move in. So a lot of this will be late tonight and throughout your Sunday for Christmas Eve. There you have it, a 100% chance of rainfall. And then your Monday on Christmas, I think it's going to be actually really nice on Christmas Day. We're talking maybe some sunshine and still mild temperatures. So Sunday is going to be our big hiccup here. Let's walk you through this mess. This is today. Not much happening. Some clouds around some sun too. You've got some showers around, but they're not anything heavy or widespread. Here we go after midnight. Watch this area of light rain in green. A little bit steadier rain there in yellow that starts to spread up as we go into Sunday morning. And then as we get into Sunday during the day, there's going to be pockets of dry weather, but you'll start to see some downpours mixing in your reds, your yellows and uh, even darker colors there. That is some heavier rain coming in Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening. So Sunday at five o'clock, we certainly could have some heavier showers and even a few thunderstorms around the region. Now, if we can get the rain in here, maybe we can get it out of here fast enough. And for midnight mass, we may have the heaviest of the rain well to our east and dry as you're heading home early in the morning on uh, Christmas and then Christmas Day. Once again, we'll have some clouds, but some sun, but it looks like a nice day. Cold front blows in Christmas night. It'll turn chilly by Christmas night, but your Christmas day will be about 70 degrees. So our flooding risk with this, there is a risk for some street flooding. It's not going to be widespread, but models are persistent showing a corridor of some swath of heavy rain. They just haven't decided exactly where right now it's from New Orleans to Houma. Yesterday it was from Covington to Reserve, so it's jumping around in model land, but it shows us that there is that potential for some street flooding, especially Sunday afternoon. We will want to watch that closely. The severe weather threat with all this looks very low. You can see your severe weather ingredients are going to be right here in the Gulf of Mexico. They never really get too much inland, so the severe weather threat looks to be limited somewhat. There may be a gust of wind every now and then, but I think rain is going to be the main thing we're watching for with all this uh, talking some heavy rain. So here's that seven day forecast 72 today. Beautiful weather. Rain moves in tonight. Rain will be with us on and off all day Sunday. It will clear in the early morning hours on Christmas. We get up Christmas afternoon. Looking great. 71 with some sun peeking out. You can't beat that. A lot of people across the country would be jealous of that weather to get outside. And then on Tuesday, the cold air is back. We'll be back in the 50s. And notice as we wrap up 2023 next week, looks like it's going to be a chilly one. I'll leave you with your marine forecast. Small craft advisories are in effect today and tomorrow. That chop is really going to be cranking out there. Sunday is going to be the worst there with winds gusting over 30 knots. Your high tides are going to be running later on tonight. Your low tides are going to be running later this morning.